Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nicole Goodwin. The last time I stood here as part of the community breakfast, I talked about my son, my sweet baby James, a graduate of Sark's Jumpstart and the community school. Big blue eyes, rosy cheeks, and full of mischief. It was 2013, and he was nine years old. I talked about the challenges we had experienced as a family and the hope that Sark had given us along the way. Standing here today, those challenges have grown along with James. James will be 16 soon, taller than me, still mischievous, but, as we know, the autism spectrum is a vast one. And for us, that means that James has struggled, struggled with severe behaviors. His behaviors became so severe when he turned 13 that I couldn't even be home alone with him, my own son. We had heart-wrenching incidents of him causing harm to others, eloping. I didn't know what that word was until it means your kid runs away and you can't find them because they climbed over the neighbor's wall, harming himself, destroying property, and otherwise having a really bad day just about every day. From that low point uh, two years ago, we are in a much better place. James is living in a supportive housing environment where he receives one-on-one -on -one care 24-7. He is safe, and we are very relieved to say he is happy. But we wonder every single day what life might be like now if James had been diagnosed sooner, instead of at three and a half, if there hadn't been wait lists everywhere we turned, if we could have just done more. That's why I have remained steadfast and engaged. I'm the current chair of Sark's board of directors, and I devote my passion, resources, and time to Sark. As you heard this morning, Sark has been making a tremendous impact in this community. Sark is leading the way in innovative treatment for autism and cutting-edge research. Sark is tirelessly working to do more. More for more people, earlier diagnosis, more supports, and better access to treatment for the Jameses of today and the future. To sustain and accelerate that success, we need your support. Your support is invaluable in many ways, but this morning, specifically, we ask for your financial support. Your financial support will enable Sark to continue our vision to put effective services within the reach of every Arizonan. Whether you can give $100 or $10,000, every single gift matters. The point is that we all participate and that this entire room hopefully participates and gives. And when you give, Consider doing more to help Sark do more sooner. Now, table captains, please pass out the pledge forms that are in the center of your table. All right. Now that you have your forms, great work, please join Sark in creating what is next now and contribute as much as you can. And we've made it easy for you because we accept the three C's plus the T, cash, check, credit, and text. And this is important. Um, there's something new, and we ask that you consider being an MVP. You may have seen some people walking around today with MVP buttons. That means you're a multi-year visionary partner. And I have something really exciting to announce. Generous supporters have already contributed to a leadership challenge. And I'm so excited to let this room know that the first $100,000 in MVP pledges has already been matched by this group. Thank you. 
join them in leading the charge and contribute to meet that match. As an MVP, you will be investing in vital long-term outcomes for children, teens, and adults with autism. Your multi-year pledge enables SARC to plan for the future and extend their services far and wide, one community at a time. Once the forms have been filled out, please pass them back to your table captain and keep the yellow copy for your records. Thank you for sharing your morning with us and making a difference not only now, but every day for those affected by autism. We are so very grateful.